Sometimes what happens in CSR, we keep hearing a lot of these numbers, you know, 10 million beneficiaries, you know, attendance went up by 30%, you know, learning outcomes went up by 20%, all these numbers we keep hearing. In the middle of the numbers, we forget the stories. How should one communicate the work they are doing in a way which inspires others to participate? Absolutely. That, uh, for me, is one of the key areas that needs to evolve. I think there is st still a lot of confusion about how much to say, how much is too much, how, how little is too little. Also, uh, in terms of engaging and enthusing first your own workforce, your own team, about what your, uh, what your CSR initiatives are and the difference it is making. And then externally to choosing the correct mediums to disseminate that information. That is still a bit of a gray area where people are trying to find their way around it. And my simple thing is, again, one knows that the toughest thing is often to keep it simple. But for this, actually, if the thing comes down to compelling uh, stories of human interest told in a sincere and simple manner, I think that's all that is required. It does require skill to do it, but ultimately, as Dr. Chatterjee was saying, it needs the, the people who are actually running the company to be emotionally invested in it, to then be in a position to frame that story and maybe hand it over to professionals and experts, but the initial inputs have to, be, have to come straight from their heart, saying that this is why we started it, this is the impact it is having, having and as you said, beyond cold numbers, this is the person whose life has changed and how. So ultimately, it is all about st uh, storytelling with the human being at the core. If we get uh, distracted by jargon or lost in numbers, then often, even if very good work is being done, it does not have the kind of impact that it should.